Hey guys, welcome to our video about the Ipsy bassinet. So we've had a couple requests asking sh to show how to put it together. Uh, we know it's very difficult because we went through that ourselves. So we're gonna show you right now what the process is like and what the different pieces are and where they go and how they go together. So let's get to it. So you have the main frame, the main piece here. Kind of pop it open and then you have these uh, metal bars here. Now, I'm not sure if they have you put it in or not, but I'm sure you've gotten to this point by now. Hopefully, if not, leave a comment below and uh, contact us and we'll get back to you. So they have these straps here, and these bars, they're really tight against the um, frame of the bassinet, so they feel like they're not gonna go anywhere. But what you gotta do, you kinda just got a strong arm, you gotta force it to go in there. So you're gonna grab the strap, and you're gonna pull it, and you'll hear it snap into place, and it, it takes a, a little bit of strength to do it, uh, so don't be afraid. It's not gonna break. It's not gonna do anything bad to it. And if you can kind of see ours, um, it's a little bent, but that's just you know from the wear of it. So there's these four pieces for the metal rods. Um, they go right here on the sides, just for extra stability. That's what I believe it's for. I mean, I'm sure I've had times where I didn't put it back on because I'm in a rush. But you don't have to take them off if you're. Um, collapsing it down and disassembling it to um, collapse it. So they sh I, I wanna s think I've been able to leave them on there. If not, they're really simple. They just pop right in, on and off. Okay, so they just go on all four. Of course, with everything Peg Perego, you'll hear the click and you'll know it's in there. So the next step we're gonna do is with this little Y strap. I'm gonna show you without putting the liner on first so you can see it a little bit more clearly of where it goes. So it hooks up to this piece right here, which is gonna control the elevation of your child when they're in the bassinet. So obviously their head will be here and then the rest of their body will be that way. So it's gonna go on the back side of this. And then there's these little um, slots right here. I'm gonna take this and you know take it horizontally through and it locks in just like that, really simple, really quick to do. I'm just doing it this way so you can see it clearly without the liner on. And then once you put it in, you take this piece, you come underneath, and there's a slot right there as well. Same thing, diagonally or sideways through, and then right through, oops, right through the other side, and either of these holes will lock into place at whatever elevation you want your child at so that's how that goes right there and then if you go but come back inside you'll see different levels so this is the third level second level and then the first level which is flat so you choose what you what fits best so now we'll just uh, take this back out really quick and we'll put the liner on Also, we're gonna note that um, if you're traveling with this and you need to collapse it, you kind of have to do all of this disassembly to get it you know, smaller, unless you have like an SUV or a van or something with a lot of space, which we don't. <laughs> we only have a, a regular uh, sedan. So, you know, in the trunk, it's kind of tight when you got uh, luggage and stuff back there. So we gotta collapse it, make sure it can fit with the stroller, with the toddler seat, you know, and all the rest of the stuff that, you know, comes with packing up a kid, and sometimes dogs, and a wife, and you the don't dad. Pack me up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got luggage. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the liner. Um, I don't know if this piece came in it already or not, but this goes on one side there without the holes, obviously, and the other side with the slots, this piece is gonna go in. So it sits right over it like that. It's nice and flat. Now you just gotta find, they line up pretty good. See that's the hole right there. So we're gonna get back to the Y strap. I'm calling it a Y strap, I don't know if it's called that, but you know. So now hopefully if you practiced without it on, you'll get it real quick and easy. It's pretty simple once you get some practice with it. 
And trust me, if you're disassembling this thing, you'll get practice real quick. All right, come on. There we go. So that'll sit underneath, and then you put it back through. And just like that. Oh, I went too low. I didn't go through though. Yeah, make sure you go through this, this part right here. There you go. So we'll just leave it on lowest setting so it's flat. Then the rest is pretty simple. You take a liner, you find the right zippers. So we're gonna be doing the gray or the lighter color zippers with the inner liner. Just take it. And you gotta be real patient with these zippers because um, they're plastic. So sometimes they don't grip to each other. So you kind of have to help guide it along. The more you use it, the easier it gets. Yeah, exactly. So here, and then it stops here, and then you start the other side over here. And of course, you know, if we missed anything, just let us know down in the comments, and we'll be more than happy to go over it um, with you. Yeah, there we go. So this part's a little bit more difficult to see. So that was pretty easy since we've done it a few times. So, and then now you got the mattress or the pad or the phone, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> then you can put it in there. The last piece we have is the top half piece and we're gonna uh, get that and put that on for you so you can see what it looks like. It's a really beneficial piece for when baby's sleeping. It has a nice cover over them. And then when you put the hood up top, you know, they're fully nicely covered, shaded, and then you have, obviously, the vent here. As you guys know, obviously, when you um, bought it, you saw that piece. So, that's that's the Ipsy Bassinet video. You guys, again, if you have any more questions or you need to see anything about the stroller or the car seat or anything else, feel free to comment down below. If you like the video, hit like, and if you want to keep seeing more, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. So, we'll catch you later.